Hey boys, how's it going? Today I have a highly requested video that's never been done on this channel before and that is how to change your email in Fortnite. Yes, it's quite the business move. Anyway, since they've changed the website, there is like a, a new website, new layout. This is going to be a new method. I'm gonna keep it very short, like a short video. So yeah, it shouldn't be more than five minutes. Anyways, um... Uh, just just relax in your chair and enjoy before we get into it first things first hi uh, You might hear some woof woofs in the background because street dogs just started communicating and that's pretty weird um, Next up um, what I wanted to say was that as I mentioned before the method did indeed change because of the new season and stuff That's why the website is different. It's really not that complicated at all So all you gotta do is follow my steps and what I do on the screen and you should be good to go. Alright, we are on the desktop now. Hi, anime picture. Um, we're going to open our internet browser. So, for example, I'm using Google Chrome. You might be using something else. I don't know. But just open your internet browser, whether that is uh, Mozilla, Google Chrome, um, Oprah, and whatever there is. Like Safari, maybe. I don't know. On Mac OS. I don't know how that works. Anyways, so you're going to get the Google... Like you want to go to the Google first and type in Epic Games and the first thing should pop up uh, named Epic Games slash store usually. I think that's the first thing that pops up and you want to make sure the website it says www.epicgames.com. You want to click on that real quick and here you'll get uh, in the URL uh, tab you make sure it says uh, www.epigames.com just because there is a lot of scams relating to Fortnite since a lot of kids play this game and um, it's very easy to trick kids I suppose I don't know anyways um here on the top right you'll see a sign in button first things we gotta do is to uh, log in into our account to be able to change the email right so first things first what we want to do is sign in so we're going to click on the sign in button right there. Um, here you want to type in your email and password. While you're signing in, it might ask you to type in the security code. And this will happen if you're accessing your account from a new device, browser or location, which is like if you have a different IP. So the way to do that is basically it literally says right here um, that security code has been sent to your email address and it says right down there which I blurred which email address so you just go to that email address and you'll receive an email with the code um, now that you're logged in you should get your username right here I mean it should say um, yeah your username should be right here anyway um so you're gonna hover over with your mouse here wait is my mouse enabled oh it is all right great um so you hover over with your mouse right here and click on account. Oof, I have a lot of things to blur, Jesus. Alright, so you should get all the personal details right here, including your name, and you can change your name here, by the way, for those that don't know. Like you just click on the name, delete it, and just type in whatever you think it's appropriate. Anyways, here in contact and address information. Your email address should be right here. Obviously, I've blurred mine. Um, but yeah, it's in this box right here. Like the first box on the left. Only thing you need to do is click on it and retype the new email. Um, as you guys can see here, I already... Oh, shit. Um, I already changed my email, so I cannot do it for three months. So basically... When you change your email to the new email, you won't be able to do it for three months. The things you gotta do is just click on the, the box, um, type in your current email, I think, uh, and then type in the new email. After that, it's going to ask you to go to your main email, the email you've been using for this account, confirm the, the change, the, the, the thing, yeah. And then um, after you confirm that, uh, you're going to go on the new account and confirm, uh, I mean verify, sorry, uh, that uh, you've been doing these actions and that should be it. Afterwards, you're going to get the note here that you've changed your Epic Games email on this day and you cannot change it again until blah 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 blah. And now for the people that don't have access to their emails or have some issues, you're going to click on here need help question mark. 
after that it should bring you to this page and only thing you need to do is click on contact us um, here you want to fill in your information make sure this is an epic account um, select language uh, your preferred language obviously mine is English because yeah I don't know how to speak Spanish whatever um, platform uh, PC or whatever platform you're using obviously you see you can type in your name or you don't have to it's optional then your email address and this email address mind you is an email address where you want to be contacted on so if I want to be contacted on um, this email address like I'll just type in this and I don't know finish it like that I guess uh, use the drop down selection to best describe your inquiry um, we're going to go with there we go update epic games account so we're going to click on that describe your problem here um, basically just describe your problem if you cannot change your email because certain stuff just be like yo what's up guys I cannot change my email because this and that and that could you you please fuck well, you cannot type please help me and so on and obviously they'll ask you for a bunch of information and you just need to provide them and uh, yeah that's about it security tax just uh, type in what you see on the left side it's obvious as that click on submit and that's about it so that was that guys i apologize for the broken english it's not my main language and once again i've seen a lot of comments of people asking on my previous video can i change my email if i don't have access to my account and my answer is honestly probably not i mean you give them enough details maybe but since they've implemented this new system hardly you should all be aware that using a fake email address or any fake info is forbidden and um yeah, you should use the real info you have access on and blah, 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 blah. Also, let's not even talk about account trading or account selling. That's like an Insta ban. So if anyone offers you an account for a cheap price or anything like that, please do not go for it. I mean, f just don't, don't go for it at all. <laughs> I'm not saying only for a cheap price, but um, even if you get an account, there is a big chance that you'll be banned and lose all your money your account and uh, all the skins and stuff in it plus let's not even talk about the risks of getting scammed Whew. and i'm just going to end this here thank you so much for watching and for supporting the business move um i'm just going to let you guys uh enjoy this gameplay since it's going to end soon and it's like a decent kill game so yeah um have a beautiful day and uh, love y'all. Peace out.